Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Yggdrasil. Let's get straight into it. Let's have a quick look at the state of the game board. We're doing all right. Uh, we want to spread it out sort of like this. Basically, you want to keep your gods at the first level of whatever zone they're in. So when they move, especially because there's Ragnarok cards that move multiple gods, you, if they cross the line, it's really bad. So, for example, if these two gods were here and then Ragnarok remove, moved all three, that is game over, okay? Because any three over here is, is dead, one over here is dead, and five over here is dead. So you want to keep the gods sort of spread out, kind of like they are now. This is the perfect spread. It's not the right gods for the spread. You want to have, uh, probably have the snake instead of the snake here, instead of the, the dog. But, uh, yes, so that's really unfortunate. So basically, if there's a guy here and he moves, bam, we're now four in the five section. So we're almost lost. You spend your whole time almost being lost. And anyway, we're going to start with Tyler. Let's draw out his card. And it is Ningog moves. So when Ningog moves, he also moves Hella with him. Or whoever's at the back. Okay, so he's go now. So he has two and three. I think. He's going to take an elf and then he's going to roll a die versus this bloke. Meow. Okay, so he gets two. And then he's going to spend an elf for three. That kills this guy. So that's uh, one action, uh, two actions. And for his next action, I think he's just going to come in here and go one, two, three, four, five, and clear out those ogres. Okay, now it is her turn. Ah, okay, so Ragnarok, why didn't he fight Ragnarok? He should have fought that Ningog. Okay, so Ningog, Hela, Jordanheim, and Loki all move. So Ningog, Hela, Jordanheim, and Loki. Okay, so this is a very bad spot. So basically, if this guy, all this guy move, that's game over. So we need to knock them back immediately. Luckily, we do have Loki's weapon here. So for her first action, let's search for Loki's weapon. And for her second action, let's also take Hella's weapon. So we're trying to set her up to do two combat actions a turn against the people of the weaker so she can keep she can knock both of these back in one go. Okay, so now she's got one more turn. She needs three. Oh wait. Actually, no, we're not going to do that because. She hasn't got any Vikings, so we need to draw some Vikings. Let's go, bam, one, two, three. So we've got three, four, five is all we need. I'm going to risk it and just roll one. So that's three, four. So she, we're just going to risk it and try not to roll anything but a white. Come on, let's risk it. No, nothing entered, nothing gained. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we did it. So, boom, he goes back one. Nice. One, two, three, four. So still, if Hella moves, it is game over. We have to knock her back now. It's Ningog again, and Ningog moves twice. So it's one, two, and moves the 
person in the last position up. Okay, so we're still, now we are still in one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're still in the same position. We have to knock these guys back. Okay, so it's Nord's turn. Nord is going to come in here and use his power just to draw one, two, three. So that's one action. Search, I think he is I think he is, so he's got three, four. So we've got to knock back these two. These are the, see, even though I really want to knock back Fenrir, I have to knock back these guys because either of these ones move up, it's game over. So I think he's actually going to, oh, can I risk not doing it? Thirteen ice giants. I wish I had Odin. <laughs> Odin's ability allows you to kill whatever ice giant you want, so it's very much easier to get these runes, and they're super good. Okay, so basically he's going to roll against. So let's have a look at this discard pile. We've had two Loki's. We've had two of these. We have tons of the wolf. Okay, so what I'm saying is that we've probably... Heller is the most likely monster to actually turn up. We haven't drawn a single Heller card. So let's fight Heller. So we need to go one, two, three... We need, what do we need to kill Hella? Five. Okay, so for a second action, he's gonna take the Hella. The Hella token. And then he's gonna go one, two, three, four. And roll. And we just want, preferably, a one. You can blamo. Okay, so that's four and five. And we don't need to spend our elf. Okay. Now it's Frigg's turn. Yoink. Whoa, it's the snake again. Wow. <laughs> so that is pretty bad. I might just do it like this. This is public information, so it's not like it's cheating to do this. I often do this in the real game as well, just so I can keep track of what I've drawn. Okay, so if the snake gets in, it's game over. If either of these two cross the line, it's game over. So we now have three end games running on the board. And we have this guy being a super annoying He's going to come down here and he's going to go one, two, three. He uses, uh, wait, no, his ability, that's right, he's, he's flipped, so his ability doesn't work, sorry. See, normally when his ability, his ability is if you draw three and you draw a, a monster, it goes to the thing. But because he can't do that, I think we're going to do something else. Instead, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and drop him in here. Action one, then he's going to go one, two, three. Drop these here. Actually, I'm just not even going to do that. So then he's going to go take an elf. So that's his second action. And then he's going to fight an ogre. Come on, anything but a blank. 
Oh, three. Beautiful. So because you've got three axes, you can just kill the top giant. Okay. I What am I doing? Why am I fighting? Oh, I can't fight them because of his frig friggers in when you when you're uh when you're uh, in trance, you can't fight the gods. You can only fight ogres. So what I really should have done is flipped them over and just tried to fight these guys. I, I had, but I I wouldn't be able to flip them over. Because flipping over is an action, right? So I could flip them over, draw Vikings, and then attack. Oh, well, let's just hope I don't draw any of the death ones. Okay, so it's the dog. He moves once. And let's roll. We need a black to tame him. Okay, so we don't tame him. Come on. We don't tame him. Oh, we tame him on the last thing. So I actually was playing him wrong. He's definitely the worst. Basically, you have to tame this guy before you can do anything, and you've got to keep rolling until you get the thing. Oh, wait, I needed... I needed a white, not a black. What's going on? I needed the white to tame him. Did I roll a white? I thought I needed a black to tame him at level 3. Okay, I'm, I'm going to re-roll. I need a white to tame him. So, first roll... We need a white. Come on, white. One. Come on, white. Two. Come on, white. Three. Okay, so he does not tame him. He uses all his actions. He's out. This guy now moves. And he put places two into the green bag. Okay, so he's got Jordanheim. He's got one, two, three, four. He's already got four. So... He's going to go one, two, take an elf. So he's got one, two, three, four, five. He needs five to kill him. So he's then going to spend three. So he spent three, four power. Bam. So he's rolled one, two, three, four, five, six. So that pushes him back one. Okay. Let's go back up. It's a uh, next round. And finally we have Hella move. One, two, three, four, and five. That's game over. So I actually fought the wrong God there because I'm an idiot. I was talking about it the whole game, but these were the ones that we had to do. So now there's one two three four five so basically we actually lost the game so what i'm going to just do just for fun is that i'm going to say i actually fought uh i actually fought hella and that would have knocked him back i knew that she had the most chance to take cards as well Oh, what a bummer. Oh, that was such a stupid mistake. Ah! Oh, well. No. We'll have to call it quits. Okay, I'm going to do another game. But, uh, yep, that is Yggdrasil. You make a stupid mistake and you pay for it. Oh, God. I was doing pretty well there, too. I'd almost gotten up. See, what happens is... I like to get two weapons on her at level three and then she can just attack 
twice up here, just keep knocking two back a turn. So you give her three weapons and then you fill her with, uh, you know, elves. And I think it's this guy's ability. No, one of these guys we had allows you to share, to share, uh, to share Vikings, even if uh, Vikings and everything, you know, to help other people. I think it's one of those guys. Anyway, so that was a terribly frustrating end to that game. I, oh, I feel so, I just want to jump back in and play again because I knew it. I spent the whole turn talking about how I had to control these guys here because of the I had four on this side. Oh man. Well, that be that, my friends. I will see you guys next time.